In this section, we're going to actually be putting the frames onto the keel, and this is when the model is really going to start taking shape. I'm getting excited about it because it actually feels like I'm making some progress on this model. As I move along here, I'm finding more and more things that I probably should have thought of ahead of time, but uh, we're fixing them as we go along here. And you'll see what I mean as we come across them here. I don't want to spend too much time talking, so let's just get into it, all right? All right, you can see I've got all of the frames put on. Frames have a tendency to move back and forth. So to stabilize them and to find mount points for the plates when we start plating the hull is I'm going to put these stringers at various places on the hull. Um, one, to stabilize it, and two, to give mount points to uh, braise or solder the plates to the hull itself and to keep these frames stable so they're not moving back and forth. One of the challenges I found when I was starting to put this together is uh, this is like a three or four handed job. So what I put together kind of like a proof of concept clamp was this thing here and the theory behind it is to clamp this onto the frame, tighten it down with these set screws and then use this screw to hold it in and then tighten this screw and it'll push this stringer right here into the frame. And that way I can braise it. All right, well, I finally got the frames on the keel and an initial stringer around the top to help stabilize it. As you can see, it's pretty sturdy. What I want to do now is to get a stringer across the top on here. And this is going to allow me to plate from the keel up to the side of the bulwark here and then put a cap on the bulwark as we go around. The problem that I've got, as you can probably tell, and let me zoom in because you can see how sad this is. What a mess some of these top frame pieces are. So I've got to redo some of these and this is almost every one of them on here unfortunately this should be straight as they come down and each one of these has to be at the correct height let me show you on the plans here so as you can see here this dotted line is the edge of the deck this is the shear line up above which is the center of the deck all right so from the top of the gunnel to the edge of the deck, I have those measurements in the offsets on here. And each one is different ever so slightly. So what I've got to do is measure how tall from the deck line to the top of the bulwark this should be on each one of these stations. So this is the table of offsets. And I think I've showed you that before. And the top of the bulwark here at 20, at number 20, which is the front or the bow of the ship, is 17 feet 9 and 6 eighths inches from the base. The deck at the side is 15 feet 6 and 5 eighths inches. So I've got to take the difference between those two, convert it to scale, and then figure that out. All the way down for each frame. All right, here I've got the calculations as I've gone through them. And what I ended up doing was doing about every other one in this kind of extrapolated because I'm not going to get down into anything less than a sixteenth of an inch. I think I mentioned that at the beginning. So basically, what I took is this figure, subtract that converted it to scale, which is 7 eighths of an inch. So each one of those little stanchions, or the top of the frame, the first two are going to be 7 eighths of an inch, 
or the first well down and then it goes to and as you can see it moves all the way through here all the way up to an inch and a quarter at the back so at the back or the bow stern of the ship from the top of the deck to the top of the bulwark is going to be an inch and a quarter so in addition to the height from the top of the bulwark here to the top of the deck these the inboard line is vertical on here whereas the outboard line is sloped for the hull plating on here and this is at frame number 29 in the plans this let me go to a different frame this is frame 57 and if you'll notice that the line here is also straight again still vertical and at frame number five we still have the same effect so from about a stern we've got flat angled on the outboard side and vertical on the inboard so I've got to correct all of that on the frames on this before I go any further so here's a shot of it now that the bulwark supports all of these are redone and sized so it reflects the slope of the hull itself got them all the way down to the stern as you can see now it looks pretty good actually I'm pleased with the way it turned out if it looks messy that's because it is but all this will be hidden underneath the uh, cap Here's the boat with all the framing done at this point. Got a screw and rudder temporarily mounted. That rudder is too small. I uh, screwed up on the measurements. It's about a half inch or an inch too short and needs to be a little bit longer. But as you can see, I've got all of the uh, frames on and with these stringers here it's pretty sturdy and robust I'm calling the framing done so that's where we're at with this and I'm gonna wrap up this video all right it's definitely time to put a wrap on this video I appreciate your indulgence I'm looking forward to the next section when I finally start plating this beast. So until then, take care.